Das sagt gern die Support. Mr. Speaker, sir, may I have your permission to answer questions seven and eight on today's order paper together? Please do. Uh, my response will also cover the matters raised by Mr. Zulkanian Abdul Rahim, scheduled for a subsequent uh, sitting. So, retailers keep close track of their supplies of over the counter OTC medicines and medical supplies and bring in more stock or alternative brands when there is a surge in demand. The Ministry, of Health also monitors, mo the Ministry of Health also monitors the stock levels of commonly used medicines and medical supplies, especially when there are exceptional surges in demand or disruptions to supply. If necessary, MOH will work with the retailers to procure additional stocks to meet the demand or issue relevant advisories. In addition, MOH maintains stockpiles of key medicines and medical supplies to be prioritized for higher acuity patients in our public healthcare institutions. In extreme situations where there may be global shortages, MOH will take additional measures, such as imposing sales limits to prevent hoarding and ensure that the medicines and medical supplies are fairly distributed. Over the past year, our medical supplies, including oximeters and oxygenators, have been adequate to meet demand. Towards the year end of 2022, due to a higher incidence of viral infections, there were temporary localized shortages of specific brands of medicines used to treat fever, coughs, and colds. Retailers therefore persuaded customers to switch to alternate brands which were not in short supply. In the past couple of weeks, demand has moderated and stock levels have improved. Thank you, sir. Mr. Sakti and Isupat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to ask two SQs in relation to what SMS has answered, but uh, thank you, SMS, um, for the answers that you gave earlier. Uh, first question is in regards to um, the SMS mentioned that the situation has, uh, has improved, but uh, given the endemic COVID situation that we are in now, uh, will, will you see possibilities of over-the-counter medicine uh, running out of stock more frequently? And uh, in relation to my PQ, um, how often or periodically do, does uh, MOH or its relevant agencies um, assess uh, the periodic intervals to assess the stock? Second question is, um, leaving it to market entities, um, like you mentioned, uh, to assess their stock, um, would it sometimes, at times, give, depending on the periodic um, intervals that we check, lead to market failures um, and lead to runs, potentially, if there's a global shortage, um, lead to um, anxiety uh, in the population. So how, how can we assess that uh, in terms of uh, by either domestic production or diversification of uh, over-the-counter medicines that would be much in need uh, given the endemic COVID and given uh, uh, um, going forward as well. Thank you. Uh, I thank the member for his question. Um, the supplies were more than adequate um, and certainly our national stockpiles, which includes what uh, the vendors have, have remained within our policy thresholds all the way along. Um, we have a fairly um, granular live view of the stocks held by the vendors as well as in our national stockpile. Um, so we are fairly confident that we'll be able to meet the demands um, in general. Uh, I would put it to the member that as COVID becomes endemic and as a population we treat it and behave towards it like we do other illnesses, actually there's less chance of uh, the panic buying or the anxiety induced um, purchasing that we saw towards the end of last year. Um, and so we're actually less likely to have similar problems with over-the-counter uh, medication. Um, perhaps if I may also offer some medical advice, one way to deal with the anxiety, uh, the routine use of mucolytics and uh, uh, expectorants is not necessary for most of us who have healthy lungs and baseline good health uh, when dealing with an illness such as COVID-19. Uh, secondly, uh, there is no necessity, no necessity to purchase branded medication uh, a variety of generic preparations will do the job just as well. Ms. Hating Ru. Um, 
Um, first, I'd like to, turn, to thank the SMS for the impromptu medical advice. Uh, I have a couple of uh, supplementary questions. Uh, the first being, um, can the SMS confirm whether there was a need to actually tap into the stockpile, given the situation last year? Um, you know, I think you know, it's just something that um, the public probably you know, is interested in knowing. Um, you know, did this actually also affect uh, ART and other essential medical supplies, not just OTC medications? And uh, finally, I think, you know, related to the point that, you know, the Honourable Member, uh, Mr. Saktiandi uh, Supat raised earlier, um, you know, in terms of tracking the levels of uh, stockpile of these uh, relevant medications and supplies, um, you know, does, does the Ministry use uh, AI or any other, you know, dynamic tracking tools to make sure that, you know, we can, let this, you know, while, while actually maintaining uh, the level of uh, the adequate levels of supply that we, we also man minimise usage, given that you know some of these have uh, you know very finite uh, shelf life. Thank you. So I thank the member for the questions. The localised uh, short-term supply issues were largely managed through the vendors' own stockpiles, um, and indeed a variety of data and ICT tools are um, used to manage the supply as well as the stockpiles at the vendor as well as the national level. 